everyone, I've just come back from a walk with Boo, my dog, and I've collected some twigs on the way home, and it's very cold outside, so I was thinking, what could we do today? And I was thinking, maybe we could make ice paint. So I've got my twigs that Sue's collected, and I've also got some paint, and I've got the prime colours, so yellow, red, and blue. I'm going to add yellow paint and then I'm going to add some blue paint. I'm not going to fill all of them in all the ice cubes but look, see where I've put different kind of coloured paint. Now I'm going to do red. Then maybe if I get a paintbrush Maybe we can make some more colours with mixing. I know some some of you at Chell would love to make, mix different colours to see what happens. So first of all, I'm going to add red and yellow. I wonder what red and yellow make. What colour? If I mix it together, we'll find out. You ready? it make? makes orange. And then if I get some blue paint now and I add yellow, you have to make sure we put the lids back on otherwise the paint will dry out. And then I'm going to get another paintbrush. I'm going to mix it together. I might add some more yellow. So blue and yellow, what does blue and yellow make? Let's have a look. If I mix it all together. Are you ready to see? Okay. Makes green. So should we do one more? Let's mix one more, I need another paintbrush. I'm going to mix red and blue this time. I wonder what red and blue make. I'm ready. Mix, mix, mix. Might need some more red. and it makes purple so now I've got I think I've got enough colours now so now we're going to add water so I've got a jug so it's easier to pour I'm going to add it just to fill it to the top That's it. and then paintbrush and I'm just going to mix the red, blue and yellow and clean the paintbrush just to make sure that it all comes up correctly. Move that out of the way and mix it <coughs> how it should look so it should be full of water and paint. For the next part now we would add normally lollipop sticks but I don't have any this time. So when I was on the walk with Sue, Sue collected some sticks. So I'm going to add sticks to the ice container. Now I wonder what we use or how we use these to make ice. Do you know how we make ice? We need to freeze it because to make ice we need to use water and water needs to be frozen. So I'm going to use the freezer now. So when it's frozen, I will show you how it looks. Okay, I'm back now and look, the water paint has turned into ice paint. So now, 
can get a piece of paper and we can start painting. So you might want to give the ice container a bit of a knock just to make sure all the ice comes out. Now I'm going to use the orange first. Now I'm going to do lots of squiggly lines. And look, there it is. And maybe I'll do a bit of green. Maybe I'll do a circle with the green. Oh, the green is going up, coming out like a blue, yellow, blue and yellow colour. Oh, now it's turning to green. And there you go. And that's how you make ice paint.